Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 364. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Upset link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 358 to 369. Hey, in trick 364, 365, and 363, we're talking about finding the first non-blank. Now, in 363, we found the first non-blank and returned an address. In 364 and 365, we want to find the first non-blank and return the value. And we're going to do it two different ways. We're going to use an array formula for this one. And in this one, I'll show you a non-array formula. Now, we're going to use the index function to look up the first non-blank. We want our formula here to differentiate and have to deal with the fact that sometimes we have formulas that deliver a blank to the cell. So when we uh, build our formula, be able to, to av avoid counting this as something not blank in a cell. We're going to use index. Index, that is our lookup function. It wants an array and uh, a column number for us, because we have columns. Our array is just going to be a relative cell reference these uh, five cells to our left, comma. Now, we need to give it a column number. So watch this. I'm going to type a comma and skip that argument. But wait a second. If you have just a column and you're not doing both row and column, you can um, just put that argument here. Index understands that this row num can be either column or row if you're not doing both. So we'll put our column number here. Now. Our column number. How are we going to deal with that? Well, we're going to have a bunch of trues and falses. This will be a false, true, 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 true. Here, we'll have an array of falses, one true. So how in the world are we going to look up the first true in essence? We're going to use the match function, match. And guess what? The lookup value is going to be true, comma. The lookup array. We're going to highlight this range right here and do the not, which is less than, greater than. That's not. So, so far we have range, not, and then double quote, double quote for blank. Now, you could use is blank here, but is blank would not be able to deal with that equals blank. It would think that that is not blank. This construction here can deal with that and won't return a hit when it says equals uh, uh, double quote for a blank there. So that'll work right there. Comma and our match type is going to be 0, close parentheses, and close parentheses. Now, for that argument, this will be a column number. So we close parentheses. This is an array formula. This part of it right here is an array. In our next video, I'll show you how to n avoid um, that as an array. It's a pretty cool trick. Uh, and by the way, this is from a, a post at the Excel message board, the Mr. Excel message board from 2003. And of course, thanks to Aladdin. Now, this formula is ready to go in. It's an array formula. So you hold Control Shift and Enter. Click and drag it down. And sure enough, just like that, we get the first non-blank. Now, I'm going to, if you want to get rid of that um, Error, I'm going to use a 2007 if error. If error is great because you just put the func the big formula one time, not twice like an earlier version. Come to the end, type a comma, and then the uh, value for an error will be double quote for blank, close parentheses. This is still an array, so we control shift enter and double click and send it down. If you want, I have the uh, 2003 formula here when you download the workbook. Ah, but there it is. If we were to put um, a value right here, just like that, it can deal with spaces or whatever, but there's the value, the first non-blank uh, value returned to the cell. All right, uh, when we come back in our next uh, video, we'll see a variation on this so we don't have to use Control-Shift-Enter, which is very clever. All right, see you next trick.